Hello viewers, I hope you all are fine. First of all, thanks to my all viewers who are supporting me. And in this today tutorial, we will discuss how we connect database in our Laravel and how we operate a CRUD system and how we fetch data from a database also and how we link two databases and how we create a relationship between that and if you guys don't having knowledge about Laravel before so just watch this video I wanna I guarantee you you can learn 100% from this video so let's start the video without wasting our time I just show you the demo first so I created that CRUD system and you can print data as well and First, I can show you demo add project. So you can just tell their name, any name like uh, laptop, location, Canada, update, no one, and choose the project type. And this project types I am fetching from database. Uh, I show you the database. So just keep it. Uh, we create the project same project in this tutorial and when I save this so you can see my data is appear you can edit just one second you can edit this form new laptop you also delete it all right and you also print that data it takes some time yeah so you can see uh, my form is download and look that my PDF is downloaded so let's start our video and I request you all guys friends if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe it for my upcoming latest videos so what we have to do now I close my all directories first. All right. So our first work is to create a model migration and controller. And for that, there is one command which help us to create migration model and controller in only throw one command so that command is php artisan make model and model name so in this case i make two types like there is a laptop shop and i make model for that and other is migration is for uh, laptop categories like their companies all right so i take laptop shop and slash mcr means m for model c for controller and r for resource file now press enter so it takes some time so our model is created and migration is also created and working on controller so after some time your controller is also appear in this folder so i can show you the model file then go to the http then there is controller file and you can found that there is uh, no controller file because there is loading so i show you the model file so let's see look look there is a laptop shop which we created now so i open this model file and i open the migration file as well so our migration is in database folder so open database folder and you can find migration folder as well so there is a laptop shop migration so there are basically two functions 
one function is up and second one is down so working or up function so what we have to do now so first i create a database schema in the migration so for that all right so tell the attributes of the table in this file like table and my attributes is string type and attribute name is name colon then use table there's also string type string and in this case uh, price my next attribute is also string type I think it uh, two attributes are enough so what we have to do I create a foreign key in laptop shop because uh, yeah my controller is also ready you can see there all right so I created a foreign key in laptop shop for that the command is unsigned big integer and tell the name name is uh, C type uh, type ID all right put semicolon and at last put table slash foreign key and just put the reference in this case so there is a table id and put it in single quotes this is also in single quotes all right and tell the reference references id in single quotes control c on on what so currently we don't create it the table so I created the other model as well so repeat the command again but change their name so in this case I tell laptop type all right just run the command and you can see our model is created migration is created so come into the migration of laptop type and define the attributes as well so in this case just define only one like in this case I says there is a laptop type string and the attribute name is name all right so it's enough for laptop type now come back to the laptop shop and define there is a foreign key type id and the reference is id all right and it lies in laptop type all right so our controller is also created so what we have to do now you just upload that database in the 
localhost. For that, you just run the command php artisan migrate. In this tutorial, I created database of two tables and I also implement foreign and primary keys. So let's run this command. Oops, there is an uh, issue. Alright, we missed the semicolon. Okay, no issue. Just refresh it and Uh, laptop shop I think there is an issue because my table is created so I open I think that's one yeah laptop shop so I delete this one I delete laptop shop and the uh, other one is okay delete this one run the command again Okay, there is an issue laptop shop uh, foreign keys in correct format. So let's see. It's okay. Type this one table. F O R E I G N P type okay reference is so it's references I spell correct on ID on laptop type and last item okay there is no issue so Let's check it there. Laptop types and laptop shop. So everything is fine. I just copy my previous code there. So we compare both one. Is there any issue between this and this? Everything is fine. So cannot create Laravel dot shop and this foreign key is in correctly format. Edit constraint laptop underscore type. So I think that's an issue. We change this one. So
create the folder again refresh if there is a table of laptop shops yeah users no 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 so delete this one again so i hope now our issue will be resolved so run the command again php artisan oops my gosh So laptop shop is already just I delete this one again. Oops, our migration is also exists on the same name. Oh my god. So just keep it. I just show you my code which I done in previous. So there is a laptop, there is company name, price, no one. Look, there is a similarities. That's why our project is not created. So, look this migration. We will discuss the code in this tutorial. So, first I created the migration like project, their name, their location, update like that which you are showing in this. Uh, this, okay. So what we have to do, you have to do, you just create this migration first. One is for project and other is for project type. Remove this code. Okay. And uh, now come to the model file and model file is there project and project type and in this model file you also need to define the relationship between project type and project in project type you you know there is a project you can read this like project type has many projects like there is a project like they having some project types like there is a commercial residential so one project has many projects one project type has many projects like uh, your clique are working on residential project so their project type is residential and you are also working on residential project so it doesn't mean one project type one project is working on on only one project type in a same time other person may be working on same type 
so one project type has many projects and read for project project type belongs to project belongs to project type so there is a relation between project type and project is one to many project belongs to project type but project type has many projects all right i hope you understand the relationship if you don't so just comment below i can show you the relationship through the diagram as well so let's come to the controller there's also two controllers project controller and project type controller so in this case if i show you the project type controller so in this case when i click add project type so there is a form appears and the form is there it's in project type folder and create folder so there is a form and when i click on this form is appear and when we fill data and press save so look there you are store type so you can define the store type in your web dot php route file so you can see when the store project is action is occurs so they can go to the project controller into the store file store function sorry so i can show you so i close this migrations don't save don't save don't save okay so i open the controller files again there is a project type okay so on create they just return the view of create like this project type create this one create so in both controllers i just in create function i just return the view okay so uh, i share you the code as well so look at the route file when there is click on print button so there is i define in the hrf print bfs and i export the file and if the user press store project like this on save button so they goes to store function and i define all the functions there project controller i tells this if there is a store function so please pick up the name location per update and the user project type id so and save it into the project and return the ul project index which is this project index my main function so project index is there i can show you the project index uh okay this one so in project index i just create the table like this and i fetch the data from database and i show you this and then i also use the font awesomes fas like this and at last i show print data when the user click on print data 
button so there our this URL is calling so they can print the data so I show I share the code files as well you can watch this code again and again and if you having any confusion so please comment below I can dissolve your issue as well and if you guys don't subscribe my channel please subscribe it for my upcoming latest videos thank you guys I hope you like this video